Action. Hello. Welcome back to Philly Block Talk, where it's going up and down and sideways. Ben, man. This is good? part two. Part featuring two. Featuring Sienny. I wish, it, listen, Sienny. the day he gets my name right, I'll give him a million dollars. That's how long it's going to take. Tell him your name, please. Siani. Siani Love. Put the love at the end, yes. please. Don't forget the Ms. love. We DJ Siani Love. We need much of that love Sienny. going on. But y'all y'all see what's happening here? It's <laughs> nice and orange. It is, yeah. Look at us. Ben copied, as always, you know. I'm the trendsetter, I'm the style. That's right, that's right. You got to set the trends. You know, you know. You have to do it. I mean, you're the female. We do everything for females anyway, so. So We're trying to get our color coordination together. You are now (laughs) tuned in to (laughs) Philly's finest. Yes, sir. The oranges. The oranges. The oranges. Oh, yeah, yeah. Y'all thought y'all had me, didn't you? And you thought you had me. Fucking mad ass. Yeah, sure. Yanni, let them know. Dale's the king of Let them know what's going on today. Oh, no, yeah. So let's switch the vibe up a little. Let's so switch this vibe. I know this has been obviously one of the main topics that's been going on for the last few months um, after they passed these abortion laws. Mm. Um, so, first, we're going to start with the word of the day. What's uh, the word of the day? I'll be the one to announce that. But the word of the day is entitlement. Um, right. And we're going to go into many different things involving the word entitlement. Did but you feel entitled to say that yourself? I did, yes. Uh, I did. I felt entitled to say that. So um, I wanted to just, you know, run through the abortion stuff a little bit. And um, obviously I can't get a response from you guys immediately. But I do want to express to you and just state a few facts, a story or right. two. Yeah. Um, and just how that relates to entitlement. All right. So abortion laws. Um, abortion go. is a definition, determination of a pregnancy. Yes. Um, now you know they they pass the. Um, geez, what is that law called that they pass? I think it's the, the fetal, fetal heartbeat. The fetal or the heartbeat. heartbeat. Yes. Yeah. Like if the baby has a heartbeat, you can't. You know, get the abortion or whatever the case may be. It was something crazy. But let me um, let me give them a a, a fun fact. This law was, this bill was introduced February 2nd, 2021, last year. Yeah. yeah. So they've been trying to yeah, do y'all Yeah, been dirty. trying to, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not even, be- well, honestly, a lot of these women are with it and, and support it, too, um, like, in the government. Uh, but these men, their entitlement over our bodies is demeaning whoa, whoa, and degrading. Don't just say men, say no, no, no. the you government. Was, I did. Our, no, 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 no. Because Ben and Dell are totally with me with this. We, yeah, yeah, agree, yeah, yeah. we totally disagree with this law. But what I'm saying is at the end of the day, that goes back to entitlement. Them feeling entitled over women's rights and they don't even have a uterus. Mm. So at the end of the day, okay, even if you did pass that law, the, the, the rules and regulations that come behind it you can't even get an abortion if you're a child and got raped. Mm-hmm. You have to travel and do that and right, go to right. another state where they allow it at. Like and you, then if like they find out, you yeah. get in trouble for it. Yeah. So you wanted my 10-year-old to be pregnant. Mind you, this is a true story, you guys. It was a 10-year-old girl. Um, she got raped twice by a 27-year-old man. Um, and they would not allow her to get a abortion in Indiana. I'm sorry, not Indiana, in Ohio. Mm. Um, her mother drove her to Indiana to a doctor who, of course, agreed to do it. And if I'm not mistaken, he was either fired or received hella backlash for it. And it was just like, how, as could, he you, should. how could you force? What do you mean, as he should? Oh, you mean because people are going to be against it? Yeah, I'm right. I'm yeah, right. but right. how could you allow her to keep a baby by her rapist and, and cause even more trauma on her. These are decisions made by men who know nothing about going into labor. Now, just to make a fact, I don't have any children, but I'm just going by what I'm reading and it's heartbreaking. Yeah. So, you yeah, know, so um, even the states that are um, have passed that law, just to let you guys know, it's been Florida, Oakland, Arizona, Idaho, South Dakota, Wyoming, Indiana, Kentucky, West Virginia, All Tennessee, banded. Louisiana. These racist, racist. All banded, and and you course. notice that it's a lot of black people in these places that I'm mentioning, but it's also a lot of racism in these places that I'm mentioning. Um, are these the places Colo- that uh, banned abortions? These are ones that banned abortion, yeah. yeah. Um, now, with uh, Colorado, Kansas, and Delaware, they, I guess, flipped it a little. So, they, it's illegal, but it's limited. So, I guess, 
for instance, like if the girl, if someone gets raped or sexual abuse or something of that nature, if they have a story behind it that's not related to her just having sex and getting pregnant, then I think she's able to terminate it. But um, so other she than can that, terminate it with stipulation. Yes, yeah. That makes but sense. You're still lim- they're still limiting you. You know what I'm saying? So right, right, right. It, it, I, I don't. I, I, I don't understand the concept behind it. I, I, I really don't. I, I, I don't know why you would want to force these children to, to have these kids. I feel like that causes more. You know, you hear stories about these young mothers dumping their kids places, uh, selling I their kids, doing the whatever, news, just over stress because they're so young and have no support. No parents. Or I think it was Marshall Road, I believe. Up right. Darby. Yeah. Cop found the wandering kid, so... Was he worried, concerned, scared? What, the kid? Yeah. The kid was just being a kid. Right, right, right. Didn't even dig that he was lost. Nope. Such a shame. So what's some, of the, what's some of the legal states that you still can get abortion in? Um, the legal ones... PA, we still legal. Oh, right? yeah, of course. Philly's PA. definitely illegal. Mm-hmm. Uh, New York's legal. Virginia. Um. North Carolina. Florida, Nebraska, Kansas. Yeah, I'll you love. got those. Mm-hmm. Shout out to the legal states. Y'all. Now, Kansas, now remember, Kansas, Delaware, and Colorado it's are limited. the ones that are, but it's limited. Right, right, yeah, right, right. So, I mean, it should be limited. Right, 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 right. Because right, right. things could get abusive. You definitely don't want people just having sex, getting pregnant, and being irresponsible. So, because like, they know that they can just if you guys didn't people. know, sorry to cut you off, though. No doubt. Back to that story of the um, young girl, they're banning it now just because of that story. Um, mm-hmm. I actually wrote and sectioned it out um, yesterday. I did a lot of research on it, but it was um, states that will be banned in Indiana. That's the place that the girl drove to from Ohio to get her abortion. Mm-hmm. After she did that, now they're trying to pass that law over there. Right. Um, states that are legal for now, Pennsylvania, Virginia, North Carolina, Florida, Iowa, Nebraska, Kansas with the limitations, mm-hmm. and Montana. States recently blocked by the courts um, Utah, Wyoming, North Dakota, Michigan, West Virginia, South Carolina, um, states legal and likely to always be protected. Washington, Oregon, Nevada, Cali, New Mexico, Colorado, Minnesota, Illinois, New York, Vermont, New Hampshire, Maine, Massachusetts, um, Connecticut, New York, I'm sorry, New Jersey, uh, Maryland, Delaware, Hawaii, Alaska, what about those places that's like so stamped? That's definite. That's definite. That's the. De- what about why is it so definite there? This and it's not definite anywhere. Else. States that banned abortion: Ohio, Kentucky, Tennessee, Georgia, Alabama, Mississippi, Louisiana, Arkansas, Missouri, Wisconsin, Texas, South Dakota, Oklahoma, Arizona, and um, Idaho. Idaho. Yes. I got a question about Talk women's to me. rights. X. That's every state. <laughs> like, that's every How state. many Talk women you think know their actual right as a woman? Not a lot. I don't even think I know all my rights yet, to be completely honest with you. I'm 27 What's years old. What's the rights of a woman? Mm. And I'll be just honest. Women's just... rights include the right to equality, mm-hmm. to dignity, right. mm-hmm. anonymy, autonomy, autonomy, mm-hmm. life for. Oh, man. That's all good, <laughs> brother. That's what we do. Information and bodily integrity. Of Respect for private life and the highest obtainable standard of health care, including sexual and reproductive health without discrimination. Hello. So how do you feel like the government is do you feel like the government is discriminating when they just say yeah, I feel like they're hip I mean, they're hypocritical with everything. These motherfuckers be living the worst of the worst lives, doing the most devilish things you could, couldn't even think of, mm. and pass these laws on us to have this whatever control they want to have. But in their real life, they're getting into some other shit that I won't even speak of. You understand what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Half of these people that want these laws passed done had a side bitch that got an abortion. You get what I'm saying? They're not gonna speak on that. Right, right, but right, just right. know that these politics, these old white men, oh yeah, he got him a little chick on the side that, that got pregnant and either got him for some money. A lot of them have secret babies. Oh, black male. No, I'm talking about black white male. politicians. Mm-hmm. I don't think you realize how many of them have secret side women outside of their Basically, wife and that they image. They right, they're doing the they same shit we do and they just got money so they can hide it. But I understand. Y'all, y'all might not even know. 
It could be the top model of the world right now. She could have had a baby by Ellen Musk. It ain't never coming out. You understand what I'm saying? He, she's paid off. She shut. She right, speak. She years, gone. You, he, nobody would ever know that he had a son. I'm just making an example. This isn't a fact. Right, right, right. So what I'm saying is at the end of the day, they're, they're taking their frustrations out on the world from what they experienced. You understand what I'm saying? That's what it is. And being as though they're capable of doing that, and it's not much they can do, a lot of them have probably been harassed, uh, threatened. Listen, if you don't pay me this, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna tell the world that you got me pregnant, knowing that that'll ruin. Could you Im- black? I'm sorry, yes, blackmail. So could you imagine how many times that happened? How much money they put out? So now y'all want to put that devilless energy out right. on us so because why, you decided to cheat on your wife. Why we and let get these people pregnant? decide? Hold on, I gotta play the devil's advocate. Oh, 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 I yeah. gotta Go play the devil's advocate. Go ahead because just because you do stuff don't mean that you believe in it. Right. Like, right. people just, like, it's a side, if, if I'm doing this on the side, and mm-hmm. I ain't trying to have nobody find out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't believe in abortions, right. but I don't right. want it in my, my you know? relationship right, right. either. Or so in your life. Right. You so know what I'm you might do some hypocritical shit, mm-hmm. but that don't mean that you believe in it. Right, right. It's just actions. Right. It's just being a hypocrite. So it's just not taking accountability. Run America. And that's right. And accountability. It's just that's not why I want to, you know, those two. <laughs> 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 they're, they're, their accountability is, 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 is banning abortion for women. That's their account. That's in their mind. That's what I'm saying. In their mind. That, they, right, right, that, right. that, that they're doing something right by that. Do y'all feel like men should have a voice in that? Ooh, hell For yeah. sure. Because hell a lot of them would be, hell yeah. A lot of them So how be- often you think a man actually go to the abortion clinic with the woman? Mm. How often you think? They- mm. How often you think they know? Honestly, I can't answer that because I know a lot of stories that threw me off of women who got pregnant and got abortions and haven't said anything to the man. Mm. And some that and some were men actually. Now listen, I love you, ladies, but this goes both ways. There's been situations where women have had got pregnant by a good dude. Mm. Not tell him, mm. knowing you know y'all might get talk it out. He'll mm-hmm. agree. Okay, you don't want it. I understand, but rather go and do it. Mm-hmm. Don't tell nobody, and then bring it. Oh, up. I got a fucking and, and question. Listen, and and then and then <laughs> why the fuck is women so entitled yeah. Yeah. in general? Like yeah. why is they so entitled? I was yeah. trying to go into this. Yeah. I, I knew that, you were. Yeah, I was. I was about to go right into it. I was about to walk right into it. I said I love my ladies, yeah. but there is a lot of situations where. They get pregnant, they'll get an abortion, they won't tell the dude. They know this a good dude. I'm not talking about no fuck nigga. Mm-hmm. And break that nigga heart from doing that. And maybe right. she wasn't ready, and it's mm-hmm. okay. Right. But at least be able to communicate that with the partner that you're choosing to lay in the bed with. Everything mm-hmm. is about energy. Stop you're mixing, being so entitled you're mixing your ener- accountability. You're mixing your Come energy on. with this person, but you don't feel comfortable. Um, and if he's a good dude, you don't feel comfortable enough to say, you know, I'm pregnant. I don't, I'm not ready for a child. I, I fucked up. I'm going to get on birth control. I'm going to do this. Y'all have to take accountability. Mm. Now, as far as entitlement, women, it's, it's 2022. It's so many millionaire black women, boss, babes, all that. And I support y'all. I salute y'all. I look up to y'all. I'm still trying to get to that level. But it's the ones that maybe haven't had much or experienced much that are kind of like trying to ride the bandwagon. Why do y'all feel so entitled Mm. from these men that have money, that have worked for their money, however they got it? Why do you feel like just by giving sex or dicks up Mm. or whatever the case may be, even if you did none of that? That's perfect. And you're dude. and you're enti- and you feel like he got to cut all these there. checks right. and you're dating a no, you meet a boy a say you're meeting a boy. A locomotive I can never picture myself meeting a dude actually having real feelings. We go on a few dates and the first thing that crossed my mind is you paying my bills. Mm-hmm. I'm saying I can ask this dude for $500 cat whatever but but just you're talking like he owes that to you. Right, right, You understand right. what I'm saying? Why do you feel so entitled to that when you can't do it yourself? Mm-hmm. I'm, I'm talking about the ones that can't. I'm not talking about the girls that got it and just be getting these little niggas that be handing money out and tricking and y'all in that lifestyle. Mm-hmm. I'm generally talking about regular chicks out here. Right. I've seen interviews, funny, you know, TikTok, the dudes go around South Beach and ask the girl, what would you rather be? You want to be a wife? 
Fuck no, I don't want to be no wife. It was just a video I watched. Every single girl said, <laughs> no, I'd rather be a fuck buddy. No, I ain't nobody wife. No, I ain't like wife type. All the benefits and of being a wife. He said, would you rather a scammer, a nine to five, or a, um, a drug a dealer? She said, drug dealer first. She said, scammer first, drug dealer, <laughs> then nine to five. Because nine to five, like, they don't have enough time for me. But, like, a scammer, he could take me out when I want. And it's like... Damn, like, y'all, me, can when, I throw you a, when y'all gonna get to the age where y'all just... That's that can entitled. I throw you an alley yeah. I mean, throw you an alley -oop. You think entitled people lost respect, like, lost the feeling of respect or how to give respect? People that's entitled, you think that they... Have lost it from something? Just from being entitled. Have lost things? No, respect. Have, have lost respect? Yeah. Yes, I think from you what think I... they respectful people or respectable people. No, I don't. You don't think they know how to be respectful to people? I do think that they do, and I think some do. Is some women out here are just entitled? They just their mindset just on some fuck it. Like you, if he ain't paying my bills and he ain't scam or right, a trick, right, right, right. man, I don't want him in my face. Mm. But it is some that you know. I think you know can be all of that and then still be entitled because she knows what she can bring to the table. Why did the standard go so low? I don't. Um, I really think because these got these girls are are women. Women, we are a lot of us, and I'm not talking about y'all, but a lot of these women are the new men. This isn't back in the day when they're waiting for their husband to come home after he was out doing God knows what, and all they got to do is clean the house, wash the kids, and cook dinner. And have don't dinner say God knows what, because if them bills was getting paid and right. who was in that refrigerator, he was is it working. A problem now. I've watched reality shows recently. It's it's actually one called Married to Medicine. They clown this girl on there because her husband makes bank and wants her to be his housewife. She lives a beautiful life. But every time she gets into an argument, everybody's a doctor on there. Her husband specifically said, I don't want my wife to work. Mm -hmm, I like cool. her to be home. She yeah. does her stuff. She does. She got yeah. bank. He do. It. You know what I'm saying? They married to medicine. They're situated. It's all black doctors on it. And she should. So stay why out of are you? Why are you insulting her? Because she's doing it the old school route. Because why is they, that looked down upon now? Because they know she care. You know, know what I'm saying? Right. Right. So it's like. And now, she shouldn't give a fuck. She shouldn't give a fuck when nobody say. Yeah, her but husband that, say. Right. I want exactly, you to do that. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, but but yes. Yeah, sure. But. The world has changed it's so much. It's like, what girl, you don't want to have your own business? You want to find a man and think you're going to fall in love and be a housewife? Yeah, yeah. Like, it's yeah. a lot of housewives. Mm -hmm. A lot of these NBA players have housewives. Oh, you know can, we, can, we, like, can we jump on the other side of the fence? Most definitely. Who should be, who should be uh, entitled? You get what I'm saying? Like, who should have that right to be entitled? I feel like whoever is doing what they're supposed to do in the relationship. I feel like it's. I feel like nowadays, since everything has changed, I feel like let's say a girl is with a guy and she makes more than him, she mm -hmm. might be entitled to a little right. bit more. But as long as the respect is there, there's mm -hmm. a lot of relationships like that. Wow, money is powerful. Man. Dolly, let me hear now, what you got. And, and, and vice versa. You right, understand right, what right. I'm saying? With men. Mm -hmm. A man, just because you you know you go out, you make money, money, but you got a girl that works, right. she might not make as much as you. How do you feel like she's so entitled to have to stay with you if you cheat? Like she can't go and take care of herself and do her own shit. You right, understand right, what I'm right. saying? She's not a beggar. Now there's beggars out here. And that's when they get those type of niggas who are used to those type of bitches. So then they'll bag a girl who's not like that and treat her the same way and lose her in a hit different. Because he ain't never have a bitch that did it for herself. You get what I'm saying? That works both ways. Mm -hmm. Some girls are used to niggas who just spend money, trick, Wrap and and then treat every man like that. Fuck every every man's the same. Everybody they get that from who you pick. You're entitled to who you deal with. So that's my opinion on that. I mean, don't think because you making bank and something like that that the grass gonna be green because you leave. But a lot of people you know do. Saying? But right, a lot right, of people right. do. Okay, a but I'm just saying do. like. We putting that out to the world. We telling people that this she can take care of herself day. and all of that. And she can financially take care of herself, but she might mentally be fucked up. And they do. But, but a lot of them play that. 
a man to play that other I side agree, of the role. I agree, but a lot of them play that masculine role. I don't need a man. I don't need this. I do this for myself. They be crying cool, at but home. They be cry- and they I be agree with you home. with that. Or masturbating. I, no, <laughs> and a lot of that too. But even I just said, I said, yo, I started DJing six years ago. I had I grew up in an industry childhood. I never had time to sit back and vent. That shit just started hitting me now in the last year and a half, and I've literally been crumbling mentally because I don't know how to, you know what I'm saying? I'm so used to hiding it, smiling, getting dressed. Don't mm-hmm. nobody know what's wrong with me. And I go home, and I'm lonely, and it's like, fuck. You know what I'm saying? Like, And I'm not even the type that says every guy is the same. I'll give any not anyone a chance, but, you know, I'll, I'll conversate. I have a lot of guy friends, female friends, but... When I go home at night, right, best right. believe it hit. Mm-hmm. Especially when you don't have a man. You mm-hmm. feel me? It hit. Right. And I'm not nowhere as rich as a lot of these boss babes on here, but oh yeah, it hit. Mm-hmm. So, you know, don't let a girl just tell you, you know, anything. It hit and it hurt. So Yeah, and money, money, money make you come is not a real thing. That's a song. But some what girls you really, stuff? yeah. What's going on? What y'all want to the block about? talking about, man? The block talking about, oh shit, playing the role as not being broke as a kid. Ooh. That's crazy. Ooh. That's too much that. pressure. You know, you be as a like as a kid. <laughs> That's too much probably pressure. Probably like 13, 12, and you play that role like, I ain't broke. I uh-huh. got money. Uh-huh. Right. But you a whole kid. Right. You know right. your parents right. buy all You ain't conscious of that, though. You know that's what you hear in the streets from yeah, niggas when they talk heavy. You hear from your motherfucking parents. My, your parents don't talk that's like entitled, that. Your parents tell you I they broke. These young parents? That's entitlement oh, as a sorry, kid. Sorry, when young you parents. you start claiming your, your parents, like, financial, you get what I'm saying? That's entitlement as a kid. So yes. I didn't want y'all to feel like I was going all topic. Right? No, I right, felt right, you. Right, but right. just know that as a kid, you supposed to be a little entitled. Yeah. Right. Because it ain't your fault that right, you're right, here. Right, like, right, right, right. See, we have to, them, that's, them parents got to, Take know that, yeah. yeah. Stop yeah. going on them breaks. Yes, no, <laughs> yeah. seriously. No fucking breaks is no parents. It, it doesn't it realize is. how it affects us, and this is why the generation is so different than when it was right, back right, in the right, day. Right, right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All the way down to just the thinking, even right, fucking right. TikTok. Yeah, just all that. It's here, so I'm not gonna spend no time here. with you. Take the tablet, right, shut right, the right, fuck right. up. I'm sorry, but you know what I mean. Yeah, Take that right. tablet, go on the corner, here's some popcorn. Yeah. I probably don't talk right. to that little boy. Give him a melatonin or six. Yeah. I'll see you tomorrow. Mm-hmm. They don't even read their kids to You're sleep. not reading books. You're not Now, a lot of them are. I'm not taking away from the mothers that do. But mm-hmm. it's a lot. And these young moms who, right. who choose to have these children at young ages and mm-hmm. make these decisions without thinking through or taking accountability. Right. See, I'm tired yeah. of people copying all shit, right? What about that original shit? Can you now. can you tell these motherfuckers a little bit about originality? Well, don't shit on copying people too much. <laughs> Just because a good leader is a good follower, mm. right? So in order for him that he got to be able to accept the fact that he he following behind somebody that know what they doing, he got to be confident in that. You think what I'm saying? But you need to take that skill, whatever it is you learn from your old head. And apply it the way you want to apply it instead of trying to take the steps that your old head took because they are his steps. Right. That means that's unique and it's unique to his life. It's, right, right. It's, de- it's tailored his for journey. his life. Yeah, yeah, so you need to build your own journey and walk in them things. You did. A lot of these kids aren't taught how to walk in their own journey. I know, and that's really how no old I'm heads no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, so. It's all good, though. We're going to get to them next time. Oh, yeah. yeah. We're definitely going to get into block that. Talk. Yes. We're going on up out of here. And it's all I good. It's good guys. to see y'all. It's good to see Siani again. It's good to see my man Ben as always. And check it out. Make sure y'all describe to our, subscribe to our YouTube channel, get The there. Philly Block Talk. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. Get and if there. you need a DJ, make sure you book Miss DJ Siani Love. My get Instagram there. is at Siani Love. Get there. Oh, yo. Yo, my Instagram is right here. <laughs> Right here, right here. We'll get Dell's Instagram and Ben. Follow the Block Talks of Philly Block Talk Show on Instagram and YouTube. Better. You know? If y'all not subscribed, I'm not your friend. Yeah. Mm. You don't either. want Delly not to be your I'm friend. I'm not either. You don't want me to not be your friend. I'm one of the best friends that <laughs> He's I've the had. best. And He's next the best. episode, we getting into 
some gun violence, some yes. gang culture, yes. and then the next and one we're also that, we going talk about to love. let you guys know about the very successful black people of this world. We got that you. Don't get the and we coming that with your hot trash. Hot got trash is coming. It's, it's on its way. You went not one one. It's God. on its way in a rush. You, you dig? Not one one. Hot trash <laughs> like Deontay Wilder. You no, hot trash he, player. He no, he's a man. Thank you. If you wear suits and sneakers, <laughs> nigga, you're hot trash. Nigga, I told him, I told him that you was hot trash. Chicks that smoke cigars. <laughs> well, look, I'm a smoker, so you're hot gonna, trash. Now we gonna all the back, y'all. Yo, we you're hot back, trash. Y'all. We love you guys. Thank you. Uh, I got my roses. All right. How was it? Was